welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara Delmonica and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how leave-in conditioner is the foundation to your hair routine. And I don't mean foundation in the way like, you know, it's the foundation, it's the rock of your hair routine, which I guess it also kind of is. I mean foundation as in skincare. I mean foundation as in makeup. The product that we're going to be talking about and reviewing today is the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. It is a top five for me. It's been a top five leave-in conditioner since, I don't know, two, three years ago. It is so good, such a rock in my routine. And I know after this video and after you get to try it within Curls Monthly, you are going to love it as well. Speaking of Curls Monthly, if you are not familiar, Curls Monthly is my curly hair subscription service where each month we send you five plus of my favorite curly hair products in mini sizes. So you can try them for yourself before buying them. It is the best way to try new hair products. And if you are a Curls Monthly subscriber, I am so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber. So just a few fast facts about this lavish leave-in conditioner from Mish. Mish is a great brand. They were actually in Curls Monthly last month. There's another product in this month's Curls Monthly and they have been a very sought after brand within the subscriber base. You guys have been loving their products. I don't think I've ever gotten so many comments about a specific brand of people just like falling head over heels in love with them. Probably because I'm in love with them, I just like hype it up so then you guys fall in love with them. I don't know what it is, but their products are really just fantastic, especially for drier hair types, um, coarser hair types, thicker hair types. They can be great for anybody, depends on how you use them, but I really find my drier hair loves them. But I also have fine hair, and my fine hair can still withstand their products. Of course, it just depends on how you use them. So just some fast facts about this leave-in conditioner. It is completely protein-free, all clean, all natural ingredients. It's super moisturizing, yet lightweight. So again, great for finer hair like myself, but also if you layer it on, it can be great for thicker, coarser hair as well. And a little goes a long way. Like when I use this, I'll use like the size of this cap amount for my entire head of hair. And I really find just that to be super moisturizing and super effective. And it also has many hair growth properties within its formulation, which I think is cool and unique for a leave-in conditioner. So speaking of ingredients, have horsetail leaf extract, which stimulates hair growth. Sage controls hair loss. Nettle extract prevents hair loss and encourages growth. Then we have rosemary, which is fantastic for hair growth. Chamomile prevents split ends. Lavender extract slows down hair loss. So we have lots of things for hair loss and hair loss prevention and hair growth right at the top of the formulation. Then we have aloe vera leaf juice, which you know I love this ingredient. It's a fantastic moisturizing ingredient. We have benetronium methyl sulfate, which is a moisturizer. Then acetyl alcohol, which is another moisturizer. Avocado oil, which is another moisturizer. Then caprylic triglyceride, which is going to create a barrier around the hair to prevent moisture loss. Propaneol helps with shine vegetable glycerin, shea butter, castor oil, which are all moisturizers, moisture, 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 and then vitamin E oil. So as you can tell, this is such a moisturizing product. It has a really nice creamy consistency, but it is on the lighter weight side. So I think that it's really versatile in that way. I would say the only people who should be extremely like careful of a type of a product like this would be people with like extremely fine hair. Maybe you don't want to use it or just use a little bit of it, but in general, it's pretty versatile. So I'm gonna talk about how to use it, but as we talk about how to use it, I'm also going to talk about a little bit why I find that leave-in conditioners tend to be the foundation of your hair routine. So usually you use leave-in conditioners as a part of the C step in my CGO formulation method of applying hair products. So CGO, if you're not familiar, I talk about this a lot, it stands for creams, then gels, then oils. That's the order that you want to apply your curly hair products. Creams, then gels, then oils. Creams and gels are gonna be on soaking wet hair. Oils are on completely dry hair. So you don't wanna put an oil on wet hair. So the leave-in conditioner is that cream step. Creams are gonna either be leave-in conditioners, curl creams, sprays, things like that, that's gonna be right in that cream step. Not only is it the first thing you do, but it really lays a foundation for the rest of the products to properly soak into your hair. Just like foundation on your skin creates a really nice base and an even skin tone for the rest of your makeup to be applied. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody who like wears you know, a lot of eye makeup and doesn't wear foundation, it looks out of place. They look almost like 
30, I guess. I don't know is the best way to put it. Um, obviously it depends person to person. I don't want to like, you know, say that as a universal term, but I know for myself, if I wear like a lot of eye makeup or even just a little bit of eye makeup and I don't also wear foundation, it looks out of place. Something looks off. There's not a foundation. My skin tone is all out of whack and it really just like doesn't, it looks wrong. So leave-in conditioners are going to actually lock moisture into your hair as that first step. So while your hair is soaking wet, you put that on your hair and it's going to moisturize your hair right then and there, but it's also going to keep that moisture in your hair. So when you apply your gels or your mousses during that G step, your hair is prepped and primed for that next step. There are really few occasions when I don't use some type of C or leave-in conditioner. One occasion might be like on the Mish Gel to Foam Mousse, which is also in this month's Curls Monthly Mailer, which there's also a video on, video on in this playlist. Potentially be with that product because that product is more of like an all-in-one product. It has leave-in conditioner properties, but really for the most part, I use a leave-in conditioner every single time. You can definitely also use a product like that, like that Mish foam with a leave-in conditioner before, especially if your hair is on the coarser, more dense side and you want that extra moisture to your hair. The leave-in conditioners are crucial for me. I usually end up taking my leave-in conditioners in the shower with me. I'll rinse out my regular conditioner or my deep conditioner completely, and then I'll add my leave-in conditioner in the shower because that's how wet I want my hair to be when I apply that leave-in conditioner. Because when we apply that leave-in conditioner on that soaking wet hair, our hair is going to lock in all that much more moisture and prevent frizz uh, from occurring over time. So we love leave-in conditioners. We love the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. Cannot wait to hear your thoughts about it. Definitely let me know below how you like it if you've subscribed to Curls Monthly. If this video helped you at all, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and I'll see you at the next video.